Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the round tool. Now the round tool is located under surfaces and over here, it is one of the most basic uh, tools that you can use in alias to create fillets. However, its usage was quite limited. One of the primary reasons for that is that it cannot create curvature fillets. And the resulting fillets were a little bit weird. Um, sometimes it created a lot of errors. However, there's been some significant improvements that were made in Alias uh, 2023 or later. So I'm going to show you guys some of them. Now, the biggest improvement is the box pick. So if you look at this one over here, you, it'll say box pick. Uh, and there are also pick edges. Now, previously, um, in order to use uh, the round tool, you basically what you had to do is you have to pick individual edges, which took quite a lot of time. Um, and because of this, well, it wasn't exactly fast. And because it was a limit to G1, well, it was essentially not exactly useful. However, with the box pick, which is one of the most significant improvements that there was made. Now you're able to just drag and select all the edges that you want and you say accept and it's going to create a fillet or create the selection like this. Now you can use um, all the parameters, you can change the parameters uh, for the initial start. Um, so uh, I'm just going to leave it as is and let's see what happens. So I'm just going to say build like this and there it is. So if you look at the fillets, that was super quick. Now, if you were to do uh, this either using surface fillet or the traditional um, um, method of using round tool, it would have taken probably a little bit more than a few seconds, probably quite a long time. But because of this improvement, I'm able to put all the fillets uh, like this very quickly. Now you can still edit all the parameters, so such as the corner type and all that stuff. So that option is still available, but I think it looks pretty good for a pretty quick model. So there it is. Okay, so another uh, now that's one of the improvements. And on another thing that you can do is now you can actually do curvature. Now that said, however, I would probably use caution because even if you make a curvature the corners i think it's a little bit flat especially if you look at this and if you look at the corner transition over here it is curvature i think up to a point but if you look at this one that is definitely a tangent corner now that's our where i think it is uh, still a pretty useful improvement especially if you are able to just utilize this as a basis for a more final and complete corner maybe using the corner blend tool or the ball corner tool. I think this is actually pretty useful. And of course, with uh, similar to how all the other curvature fillet tools are, or surface fillet tools, you do have a, an option to um, change the form factor, so that's quite useful. Now, if you don't like the corners over here, you can always check this off and just build it to a hard edge. Uh, now, that said, however, it looks like that has created a little problem. So, well, it's up to you. Um, still not a perfect tool, but a lot better than before. So I think I do prefer the corners. So let me just do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and change this to circular like that. All right, so I'm just going to show you guys another example for this one. So if you have a grill texture like this, it would take quite a bit of time in order to create all the fillets. Now with the round tool and the box select or box pick method, uh, you're able to do this a lot quicker too. So I'm just going to change the setting to initial radius to 0.5 because well, this fill it over here or this piece over here is a little bit small so i'm just going to say accept and i'm going to say build now it does take a little time to make it and sometimes i don't know why it does um, just delete the surface over here uh let's see so let me just shade it up and let's see oh okay so it looks like it actually did not delete the surface and now the surface is complete now there are of course areas that which do not enter uh, or trim and unfortunately you cannot actually control the corner but for a quick visualization that is actually not too bad 
All right, so that is the round tool and the update or a significant update that was made with Elias 2023. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Want to learn Autodesk Elias and digital sculpting? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you'll find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.